They've been looking for their individual brilliance. We saw a flash of it on Dust2 as they overcame a 12-3 half. It finishes 16 to 13. We nearly got all 30 rounds of regulation. That was just the first map. It's time to see how Astralis fare on home turf. I don't know about you guys, but I hope Fnatic lose this CT pistol so we can see JW in the vent with the revolver using that uh, ladder accuracy. Aha, uh -huh, touche. Well, for now, the duel is be brought out to kick things off for Broland. He'll be on top of the hut or towards ramp. It looks like he's gone for the former here and a couple of HEs as well. Fnatic is starting to bring that into their game more and more as we'll see a very fast outside approach here. In terms of outside smokes, nothing down. Just a no clean run towards outside. But knowing the tendency to Fnatic, I suppose, and Flusher has no idea they've already got down, Chad. They mollied the clear. vent from Squeaky here. Zippy within lobby mollied the vent through Squeaky so they couldn't rotate initially. No one's lower. There's no single CT presence towards the lower bomb site at all. No one's got there. They have to come through ramp at this point, but there is a good chance. With no smokes down, they still could deny this. Astralis haven't punished the fact they had an open lower site. It's a bit late. Bomb's not gone down. That will be Dupree's task now. Glaive positioned perfectly for the first headshot. JW does go down. They're just coming in from ramp and it's looking problematic. Another frag for Astralis as Golden does get added to the tally. Another. This is going to be just a lockout. They can't really get past the ramp doors. Bronin eventually arriving to the scene, but Magisk has had all the time in the world to set himself up, make a nest. And, well, they flourish. It will be the Astralis perfect read, and they continue with their pistol dominance. Like that, lots. It's uh, the full outside rush there, knowing that there won't be any CTs outside spotting them, apparently. Flush it was towards the heaven position, just to know the uh, revolver's coming out straight, right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, just to note, uh, so Flusher there, he's got to deal with the upper rush to begin with, though. He's probably going towards upper and dealing with outside as an afterthought when it's not the upper rush there from heaven. He goes to check it. They've already made their way down, Secret. By the time they've realized, they've actually got control of the lower side itself. Five on five post plants was lower the t's uh, 99 percent of the time gonna win that so there we have it will be fanatic giving it up the revolver is out and it's making its way towards squeaky door it hasn't done a whole lot just yet takes a bullet in the face instead and it will be the outside cross from astralis here two players successfully down towards secret and it will be zipex in tow coming behind him now this is the ladder this situation is the, this, this is, is the ladder we talked about yeah, yeah. So, oh. yeah, apparently it has like 80% ladder accuracy. 60 to 80% 60 to 80, okay. compared to a usual weapon in terms of accuracy. So, meaning you can sit on that ladder and spam the right click, presumably have some pretty decent damage for it. Whether that's going to be a game changer, I'm not <laughs> so sure. I still think the Desert Eagle is going to be the better weapon, but uh, we'll see what he can do with it as time goes on. So, just went back in Skybox to rewatch that pistol round, and that was definitely the play coming on in as they should get mopped on up here. Magus finds one. The rest of them will do their very best to save. So, yeah, Zippy went lobby, naded open Squeaky, which normally, oh, it's a top rush, they're coming yeah, out, yeah, Squeaky, yeah. and dropped the molly straight down the vent intentionally. Normally you, normally you see the molly land towards main to stop them coming in, but they wanted to deny any rotation through the vents, which is the first port of call that they were going to have right. to deal with. So it's a little detail, but it's a big detail in the context of how they got to that lower bomb site without anybody aggressing them. And it makes so much more sense as well when you see the, uh, the investment of a molly on the T-side pistol. You're going to be a little baffled. You're going to be a little confused. So two to zero. We are back off and running. JW did lose his investment. May have to uh, go Buy a little again. lighter, I was thinking. But maybe, yes, he could go down to the 1900 with the revolver. Do it. Do, 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 Come on, JW. Do, do, do. You're an entertainer. You one map up. He's not getting it again. There's no way. Not the orper. That's true. Yeah, you've got to play the game as, as well. So <laughs> we like to have to fun here, yeah. but uh, that's maybe too much fun. Hey, Green, are you there? Uh, yes, hello. I saw someone ask you why we call you Green. Oh, yes, uh, that is the matchmaking servers. I like to uh, go by Green in that area. You like this third person stuff on doing it? Like pretty good. There. We just watched him like miss a guy. That's kind of cool. This is like revolutionary. So when Henry and I played in the CGS <laughs> rush, this is how it was observed. They did, they, this was CGS rounds for this one. It's third person only. There you go. This is how CGS was spectated. The, thing. Uh, the world's first kind it's of showing hard. of Counter-Strike on national TV was e explored in this manner. So you never really got to see the aim. It was everyone running around with the jerseys on, to be fair. One good thing they did was put everyone in the player jerseys on the server. No one could be killed either. So instead of dying, they would surrender. They'd go on their hands and knees with their hands above their head when you got the frag, and they would stay there in the surrender position for the rest of the rounds. Just so it was TV wow. friendly. And just so everybody's aware, that uh, that product only it lasted two seasons. It didn't, it didn't work out. Uh, and then the global financial crisis. You can see you can't really uh, appreciate the true skill and uh, caliber of these players when you're in third person. You don't you don't really get the full No, effect. you don't the really get The models look much. nice, though, don't they? Yeah. yeah. They're walking around, enjoying themselves. It was a weird decision they made all those years ago. But just to note, this was in 2007, many moons ago. 
They didn't know any better. I think it's interesting that the T's bothered to get white Kevlar vests to go with their outfit. Well, I'm you want to look, you want to look your best, Alex. Yeah, I guess he's gone to the Kevlar store and he's like, I'd like one that matches my shirt, please. It's 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 about what you're putting forward. Right, and, you know, uh, dress you... for the job you want. Exactly. Not the job you have. Well, Which the buy round. Henry dresses like a clown every day. <laughs> oh dear, all right. <laughs> no AWP on the first gun round for Fnatic. It's going to be five rifles, but... Basically, full kits of utility. A couple of flashes are missing there. A diffuse kit on the back of Brolin. And there'll be some leftover SMG. So maybe a hard top coming out from Astralis here. Well, may just what have you got for us this time? Flashbang towards outside to enable him to get towards our main roof. Molotov, same position, just to stop anyone spotting from the CT boxes itself. You can see how overwhelming this approach is. CTs are being isolated here. Astralis is starting to run away with this first half. 4 0 looking very likely as Dupree will find the first opener. That's towards Flusher. And Mage is just dissecting the map here with the MAC 10. GW sneaking on the spot here for a couple of kills potentially. He needs to connect oh. this one. Glaive will beat him to the punch. But there's Brolin to pick up the pieces and we'll go back to a three versus three now. Golden to reposition in lower. In terms of his utility, he's got nothing in half health. So he'll do well to defend the lower side with just this. Oh no, squanders his lines again, he's fluffed it. Only against the MAC-10, so he does have a chance to stabilize and he has found the head of Zipex eventually. Mangisk is under scrutiny from Brolin, which should very well translate into the first four. Fnatic, yep, back exposed and only an MP7 and 12 HP does not the recipe for a clutch. Device could try and make it costly though, the CTs aren't rich beyond their wildest dreams. He's got 30 seconds, so he could take his time. I think he'll have to break the glass here for the sound cue, so he's going to hope that that translates directly into a frag. Golden hasn't moved too far. There he is. Ooh. And he gets the kill. Lovely work from Device, just to at least but force the rebuy onto Golden. And that's the magic number, right? We talk about this a lot with the CT side. If you can limit them to two players being alive at the end of every single round, dropping these guns across becomes difficult. You can see Brolin can drop one. Crims can probably drop one. But then where does the third gun come from? You know, that's where the compromise is. That's where the come MP9 on. comes yeah. from. Yeah. So have to take liberties with the lower buys. They have to bounce back here because it will be five AKs on the side of Astralis. It certainly will be. I'm very new to the Brolin shotgun combination. Me too. Um, it doesn't sound as sexy as the Brolin Krieg combination, which he won't be getting his hands on this half. Yeah, the Astralis boys are making certain of that. Yeah, just to reiterate that point of his joining over the second map, Astralis have confirmed in interviews now that they no longer buy the Krieg on the T side, just knowing how powerful it is. And it's too much of a risk to hand it over towards the CT defense, meaning they can just swell if they take a couple of rounds from you. So they'll buy it towards the end, 14 and 15th round perhaps, and over time you'll see it come out. But generally speaking, they'll buy the, the cheaper of the two guns, 2700 AK-47 over the 3K Krieg. To make sure they deny the advantage for their opponents. For now, though, creeping towards outside, the deeper smoke's deployed at this point. You can see them actually making their way towards garage, no problem whatsoever. But will it be enough? Flush up on the other side, always so good in these sort of scenarios, but yet to find a frag near nuke. JW's going to get the uh, warehouse spot. More utility coming from that trajectory. We know there's more out there, but Device was waiting for Flusher to leave his hidey hole. That gives Glaive a whole new lease of life to take the fight. He does. Sprays into the door frame to force GW into the angle. Crims is in trouble too. Jeopardy in the yard position. Glaive, Device, slowly encroaching upon the off angle of Crims. Golden to try and draw them in. He's done well to find the frag. And again from Crims, they seize the advantage. He will be looking for Glaive, but uh, Shu is on the other foot now. 25 seconds here, and in terms of resources, Astralis don't have a whole lot. They've got a Molotov and a Flashbang, and they're not together right now with less than 20 seconds on the clock. A Molotov towards the main entrance. They have to go lower, and CT Presence is there. It's going to be Golden, ready and waiting to deny this plan. All he has to do is get one kill here. That's enough. He's won the round off that. The bomb can no longer be planted. It's not even a talking point at this stage as Golden saves the day, gets both the kills, and to be fair, Crims did it such a good shift there towards the CT steps. It felt like that round was done for. When Flusher went down, he was in such a compromised spot, but the CT steps prevail once again. I yeah. want to make a note with Astralis' approach right now. This is more what we're seeing out of the teams like the Phases, like the Fanatics, with the... Uh, the 
the game plan looks like it is to isolate ladder and go for these type of frags. Whereas normally with Astralis, it's do the secret smokes, get lower control, force the CT rotation, use our utility better to get control of that lower bomb. So when Astralis are doing that, how do they ensure that they're not getting loads of info, ramp, lobby, squeaky? They just have one man babysitting all of that? Well, no, because if you get players down secret, they have to respect that. Certainly. So they have to rotate individuals away from some of these areas. So ramp will just be left with one player because an individual has to watch the lower bomb site. Top site, maybe that's your hut player. He has to drop off of hut, go down the vent. That means maybe you don't have main covered as one priority. So your priorities have to shift depending on your CT side of rotations. And that's one thing as the T side on nuke you want to be looking for. Who rotates where in case of these scenarios? How do we deal with them? What are their tendencies? On nuke, that's something quite easy to look for with the CT sides here, even identified with the pistol round, making sure the CTs couldn't get down that vent to rotate to lower the bomb site. Yeah. That could be something that they know with Fnatic, they normally like to rotate lower, but it's a top rush. Yeah, and Brolin's shotgun could do a lot of work here. It's not so much the top as it is the vent dives straight down. Golden's gonna have to save the day again. There's a gap in that smoke and they've only got SMGs. Golden trying to connect the bullets. Zipex swinging in to save the bomb plant. Glaive only had one HP after that exchange. A 99 HP dink. Well, they bring a kill back, but it might not be enough here. Device outside will keep them with the man advantage. Four versus three, and it's the shotgun that's still out here. It will be very effective towards decon, but no one there right now. They're actually quite defensive towards the ramp itself, and Shadow... They can smoke the bomb at least. Oh, the nade. nade. Oh, come on. HP? Come on now. Zipex and Glaive working with two HP combined. And from behind, Dupree. It's so perfect. They do miss it, though. And there's still one on the smoke. It's Brolan. He's oh. holding it. He oh. will get caught. The bullets from Device Connect eventually. But <laughs> by God, was that close. There was a second that Defuse felt like it was coming in. If a reload had to occur at that point, it could have fallen apart. But Astralis with the SMGs and their vent dive, they are known for those sort of tricks. They're very good at getting down towards lower. Uh, even through Secret, all the vents himself. It's normally Glaive that will get right down there first, which it was this time as well. Nice work from Zipex. A long-range Mac 10 there, making it work. Upgrades to the AK-47. Gets it done here with one HP, as he saw. Broland so unlucky that Grenade didn't take him down. Counting his lucky stars, I'm sure, as the Revolver's out again here. We're taking an eco on the CT side. So I was just having a look right now at uh, stats for Broland because we were talking about the fact he won't be able to get this SG in his hands. Uh, overall, his entire career as an individual, now it hasn't been that long because he is such a young player. Is it any more interesting right now, or are they gonna, are they gonna deal with this? Unless the revolver connects, I don't think so. I think you're good. Okay, so uh, Brolin, over his entire career, his most frags are with the AK-47, which is 4,052. Woo! Okay, it's gonna get interesting. It's very interesting now. <laughs> they have the man advantage. <laughs> Mad just catches a bullet down to 30. They're both within the one shot of hit JW's revolver. And Golden's in somewhat of a surprise position. He's chipping away at Dupree's health even more. 20 HP, no. he does it. Body shots in the USP. A spray from Magic on the revolver descent. Revolver clutch. A revolver clutch required, and he is tagged up. Tumbleweeds. There's not enough space in the server for both of them. Got to ask yourself, did he fire five bullets or six? That just is opted for secret, so they aren't going to meet until the bomb's planted lower. And JW, with no kit, his chances do diminish as soon as this occurs. So, retrieved rifle, that does Big. well. Yeah, that's kind of... <laughs> the crowd doesn't like that one. Kind of taking the hype out of the round somewhat. <laughs> Come on, yappa. Well, maybe just we'll get a bomb down towards lower. There's no problem there. The molly is great in JW, though, if he identifies his position. So, if Magus doesn't just hide straight away and JW gets to catch, like, a Ford or they have a little skirmish, he can isolate him with this Molotov. Ooh, if he goes behind the bomb side, especially, oh. but May just nails the shot. Well played. Big, big round there for Astralis to pick up at that point. It's going to be 5 2. Money still going to be strong for Fnatic. Bear in mind that was just a revolver round from them. So, USPs, revolvers, the standard sort of stuff. And uh, managed to bring it right down to the one versus one. So, we will see the all for JW. M4 is coming out as well, and no Kriegs still to be spotted. So, Astralis more than happy to operate under the. The AK-47, this was the kill with the revolver right on the side of the head. They just to close things out there. Managed to pick up all the last three kills. This one especially, very nice shot. Yeah, important round there for Astralis not to lose because if Golden's USP was... Oh, this is the fast yard smoke for their isolated ladder. We saw that on their first gun round. Going for it again. I'm just going to drop straight into the yard. And actually, they're going wide. They want to take these fights. JW was ready for it this time. Looking to fast 
respond into this swing here, hoping to catch a T off guard. But there's one pushing up close. Yeah, that's a dangerous position for him. By that window, he will be exposed, but Dupree's opted for the heaven jump instead. He can hold here for a while. He's heard a footstep, but he is running out of time. His teammates are dropping around him. He knows a player's beneath him. But how does he find him? Goes towards heaven instead. Flash up. Pushing the smoke just gives away a kill for free there. It's a way back into the round, especially with Dupree's positioning now. There is no way. Yeah, they have no idea. No way. God, it's a free frag. It's Brolin, excuse me. And now perhaps towards the top site, Crimson is going to have to react. He's actually tucked himself into Hut. JW wants to go. No! Oh, um, that shouldn't happen. That not should possible. not be possible. He's breaking the rules. He's got himself a double kill. And now Glaive's just wondering where it all went wrong. He's scratching <laughs> his head, hair gel on his fingertips. He's got to pull the trigger. He has to go lower. That's the only option at this point. He's got to make noise while doing so as well. So just to be clear, when you're on the ladder, you shouldn't have any accuracy. The AWP as well. You're going to have to pull a no scope off at that sort of range. And he nails it through the wall onto the head. And now it's a three versus one. This is a round where Astralis looked like they had it. They were pulling them apart. They had no idea they had a player oh, towards heaven. So screwed. And he is surrounded at this point. He knows the players coming from each and every angle. And we have to see that shot from JW once again. What the hell was happening there? I mean, that's, that's a guarantee. We call those frags yeah. safe frags because he's coming up the ladder. He shouldn't be able to even shoot back. And JW gets the frag on the, the the backstab. I mean, Dupree was right behind and under enemy lines. Wow. Uh, yeah. Nothing surprises me with this gentleman anymore. This is the openings. Great stuff from him to exploit their execute. And here we is go. Straight nose scope as well. Has to be. Has to be. Oh, he can't. Oh, he <laughs> quick scoped quick scope. it. He quick scoped on, on the, the ladder. ladder. Perfectly on the head and then wins the round. That's the most JW round I've ever seen. <laughs> Unbelievable. They got revenge for not winning the revolver clutch. Yeah. So that works. That certainly will work. And I'll remind you that Dust2, the win Fnatic pose right now on uh, their second map, was thanks to JW starting them off with two clutches. Came down to 1v1s. He got six kills in two rounds to start off the pistol. And the following now, though, seems like Glaive's got up to his usual tricks. Access to main and walking straight into the crosshairs now of J-Dubs. He's having a mad one. Now Flusher eliminating another threat. Three members of the Danish unit remain, and they continue to take fight. This time, both of them favor the boys from Astralis. Well, it's looking very good in terms of the trade kills coming through, but they don't have many resources left. This kill might decide the fate of the round. It's a scrappy one from what Golden, but he does get the bomb towards lower. No Astralis players to back it up, and that might turn the tide of battle here. Three versus two. That kill really did decide everything. It was the difference maker between the bomb going down early and having no CT rotations to now the bomb being segregated and the T's being so far away from it with less than a minute on the clock here. Zipex and Dupree are going to have to find something out of nothing. That's not something. Uh oh, it's ugly. There is a chance though, right? He, this is the clutch minister himself right here. Golden is low. He knows where the bomb is. That means they're most likely playing around it. <laughs> the smoke, though, is brutal, Chad. I, just, I always have faith when I, I see do, I, I, I don't disagree with you. Zipex can definitely win this, but they're playing it very well. But the fact he's got it now, check Shadow, get the bomb. He's heard that nade, though. And he, does the window smash? So he's got to deal with this first kill here, which he actually probably gets no problem. Oh, maybe the grenade follow-up at 10 oh. seconds now. His chances really are getting right down to the... Smallest of margins. Yeah, now, now they just live. He doesn't have to do anything. He took too long. But uh, if he was able to, if he threw that nade at Golden's position, if he is confident with a lineup on that, that's a kill. And then yeah. things within the last 12 seconds get a little bit interesting. But Fnatic, they've kind of stabilized here. It was looking shaky. They lost the pistol. Astralis went on to convert the next two. We had Fnatic bounce back with two of their own. And then Astralis, well, the same. So at the moment, we're in throws of two rounds each. It's a back and forth affair, I think we'd call it. But Astralis, they have to concede. They have to take a save, and Fnatic should be able to mount three in a row here. We have seen some special things done with Deagles and Glocks. It's true, and uh, it takes one misstep. One overcommitment. And this whole round can come tumbling down. Golden realizing he may be just a little too aggressive for the current state of affairs. Not a single nade on the Astralis camp here, so they will be taking their extra time. You can see they're still hanging out in spawn. Yeah, just bleed out those grenades. They've got nothing themselves here. Have a little chat. Oh, it could be a lot of cash for Brolin here. He hasn't really done much of the shotgun so far. I can hear them. Just, they fall out as a grenade there. You can see them like just jump as soon as they have the nade <laughs> yeah. pull. 
Everyone getting them. ready for move out of position, knowing how squishy they are about armor right now. First spot, the kill will come through. 900 dollars in the bag. Could be another one as well. JW, Crims, making light work here of Astralis. Just Glaive remaining, just trying to steal away one cheeky frag if he can. It's up to Sir Fnatic whether he gets it or not. They don't need to push him. They don't need to upgrade anything. No one needs this kill. Maybe Broland could justify it, knowing he can get $800 or $900 with his shotgun. But uh, there we go. Crim to close things out. Clean. That's about it. And it's 5-5. Five, five. This was spiring out of control. Remember, they were, what, 5-2 down on the yeah. CT side? And they've stabilized here. 5-5. Five, five, broken the money down to the point they can't even bring the AWP out. So Device will be forced to stay on the rifle for this point. I expect to see Astralis go back to just the secret control like I was talking about, or yeah. more ramp heavy, where they do the secret smokes and then they send three or four of them over to ramp to deal with Golden. It could be the change up they need. The aggressive stuff towards ladder it was nice. It was taking the fight to Fnatic. It was kind of getting the game going and it was outside of their traditional wheelhouse. So I enjoy the mix up early. It's meant Fnatic's game plan coming in has probably been rocked. Right. Like all of the stuff you prepared to be handling, you haven't here, met, you yeah. haven't seen yet. But I think it'll start to come into play right. now. So are Fnatic ready for that mix-up? Are Astralis going to make that call? Those are the two questions we have on our lips right now as the US Air Force tactical timeout will be coming to its close. Trying to illustrate the worst CT side pistol rounds of all Stage 2 teams. Yeah, Pistol Rounds has not been uh, Fnatic's strong suit, and quite the contrary, of course, to their opponent, which we've seen translate into the pistols of this series as well. Force buys are just a bit more fun, I think. You know, I like think the scouts, it, yeah. the Fnatic shotguns, thrive in the, the, uh, in the second round. That's their Pistol Round. Getting a little highlight reel of Magisk. He's been one of their top contributors so far, and this quad kill was one of the most important kills he got. <laughs> JW, this though, this was? was probably the most uh, impressive kill we've seen all day. AWP, quick scope on a ladder, on a round you're on the back foot just when they need it. And Broland will stick on the auto shotgun just to note. Got one of the best aims in CSGO in the world right now, and it's going to be using the spread shotgun. Well, I think if he can't get the Krieg, Henry, that's his, his well, next that's, preferred I guess, weapon. I guess so. They're not yeah. going to give him a Krieg, so he has to use a shotgun. That's his, those are his two options. So here's the secret smokes, the traditional approach. Magus leading the way. Oh, the smoke wall has so they, been. They might be thwarted. ready just to right click one. There we go. Yeah, just just to make like knowing that there's, there's a lot of buggery right now with the, the yeah. incendiaries and the timings on them. Maybe just to right click is the better solution in general. Uh, ahead of the molly and into the crosshair. Crims gets one and a half. He didn't necessarily get the kill credit. That was Glaive putting a bullet into the teammate's back and the shotgun not going to work at that range. Astralis, they have a huge advantage here. Golden and Flush are in a position to squander it. They are in the right place, or at least Golden is. Where's Flusher? He's I coming in towards ramp room, and he's yeah. already eliminated the threat. I, I don't mind this at all from Fnatic. I think they win this round, to be honest with you. Golden's been so solid towards lower, but they're going upper. Good call. Knowing that he's transitioning towards ramp, they've probably suggested upper will be clear. Device has confirmed that, and the race is on now. Can he get there before they even get the bomb down? Apparently not, but maybe he can actually get out of this one. Smokes off towards heaven, and he's going elsewhere. So trying to avert all the attention towards that side while his teammate potentially gets up the vent here. It looks like they might be potentially saving, but we'll see what Flush has got in mind. They have got a bit of utility as he goes towards lobby now. They really need to get their skates on. Golden's going to have to make the entry kill, trying to make a bit of noise here. Great. Good incendiary. It actually works out, but he locks himself in somewhat. Has to get a kill on the ladder. He's pretty much done for. Can Flush do anything about this? The auto Perfect. shotgun could work. Oh, <laughs> it looked like it was the weapon for the job, but still Device is holding supremacy in this battle between the two of them. Flush is going to catch one on the exit. He may even get a second on the exit. That's not too shabby. Just Glaive with 10 HP. Golden could even find him. This round's not quite done. But it looks like Golden's going to just about miss out. Look at Astralis' money right now. Yeah, Their money is, is screwed. Flusher did a lot then. Yeah, so much damage right there has been done. The T's, they can't actually get a buy going. Glaive's going to have to drop across an AK. They're going to have to have some MAC-10s probably in the mix here. Which might be fine. All things considered on a map like Nuke, considering they get down the vents so easily on this particular map, might be it adds an extra string to their bow with a bit of pacing behind it. So they've actually gone for, what, four AK-47s and a CZ? Yeah, Zippy went for no head armor. Okay, then. So that's going to mean the M4s have one tap potential against him now. But generally speaking, it's not uh, the worst buy. It's, it's certainly possible they could pick this one up. Device not having a rifle is a concern, but Dupree, he'll be leading the charge the towards fake. outside. Good smokes down towards main entrance on top of CT boxes as well. He cannot be spotted. I'll see if they can... They know what to fake. They have two at ramp ready for this. Oh, oh they, they have. have. They're prepared. 
Golden, big spray down opportunity, doesn't nail it, has to go for the nade instead, and Brolin's been set up, no shotgun this time, M4A1 bullets making their way forward, and he lines them up, good for two, but that's not good enough, a three on three situation now, as Astralis make their way towards lower. JW catch him, Dupree's waiting around main to find that frag, but JW slowed all down, bomb's loose now, he has it on ramp. You can see the decision making. This mid round's about to get real interesting. So Glaive took two kills in ramp room. He's tucked himself in far back to catch any CTs trying to use that as a route through. 50 seconds. Eventually the time will become the enemy of Astralis. Fnatic, they welcome the passing seconds. Glaive, however, they're being let or allowed to pick up the bomb should encourage a push. Now look at the time flush is taken before he right returns to ramp room. Now Glaive has left and now Glaive is gone, knocked out of the server. Dupree, where are you and what can you possibly do? He walks through secret, knife out with 20 seconds and a loose bomb ramp. This is another fanatic round unless Dupree is feeling something rather ridiculous. Well, considering their money situation coming into this round, he needs to pull off a miracle here. It's not going to happen. JW, the hero yet again, will finish things off. It's that flusher JW combo. We've seen it for years. It's still <laughs> delivering here today. It's been going for a long time at this point, boys. Over five years they've been going at it and still going strong. Do you think we'll still be going in five years' time? Uh, I hope so. Yeah? Fingers crossed. I hope so, too. It's uh, the first time we've ever tried this so a little tricast setup. I think it's going pretty well. Yes, we've, got, we've got the old classic squeals and screams and hype. We've got a Chad uh, strategic breakdowns as well. Seems all coming together quite yeah, nicely. It's got I, its own charms. It, it definitely feels like something different, and different is good. Change is as good as a holiday, my mum would always say. Change yeah. is as good as a holiday. But she would go on a holiday every six months, so I'm not quite <laughs> sure... You make yeah. it sound like she's uh, uh, living a life of luxury. That's quite unusual to go on they once every six months. Well, my, it's not my, uh, being unreasonable. They worked very hard when they had us, and now that we're gone, my yeah. sister and I, they have money yeah. and time, and they still work. So oh, detach I, the financial leeches. I hope and she finds the happiness she deserves. Yeah, me too. For now, into round 13 of our second map, and it's our second stage, second day. Should just, just be... Go on. I was going to say, GW finding the opening, but he's missed his shot. And reactionary utility is being thrown out. A flashbang to slow them on the cross. And they're actually hitting ramp room. Golden took a lot of damage early. That's yeah. not bad with the Glock. He knew he was done for there, so he's just trying to stay around for one kill, knowing he's going to be taken down for sure. And there's actually a chance they win this now. It's that snowball effect we talk about turning into an avalanche very quickly. If you find a kill like that in the key choke point, like the ramp room, things can really get out of control oh, pretty quickly. They're shooting each other now. They're not sure what's going on. They've still got an outside player to deal with here. And Mages, every second he buys out here is actually costing them the round and still he's a nuisance finally he's taken down but this means flushes alone i think the round's already they over have to save look the, the ct money is in just a terrible spot as what the t's were that we we're talking about previously but they have to save on this round this uh, this right crazy. here could be the turning point of this game they just got full e-code this Zipex, is he's it, it, gonna get the last one <laughs> not quite but Astralis, one pick. Why did those Glocks feel so intimidating? What there was a Deagle in the back line, okay, sure. so maybe the Deagle hit him. We couldn't really tell, but it, he just was out of position, and Henry's bang on. Once you're getting overwhelmed in that scenario, your best bet is to go for frags, because he couldn't run away. He was too far to squirrel on down the ramp and turtle up, so he had to just go for kills. And when he doesn't get a kill, and you don't have anybody close to plug that rotation, you're in a lot of trouble right there. I like the idea to deal with the outside presence, get rid of that lurker, take that question mark away. They just weren't expecting two players, and that's where it really got confusing for the side of Fnatic. And big events of all time, Device is the best player in the world on Nuke. 1.22 rating across 82 maps. At one point, Astralis did have a 32 and zero run with online and LAN. I think that's just LAN games, no, the 32 and zero, yeah. right? So uh, yeah, they definitely had a good streak and we'll see if they continue Whoop, it here. Uh, with the upper rush through squeaky door, all the grenades through it as well, up against pistols on the bomb side. Crimson get delivered with the five, seven, and four. He's good for one at this stage, but JW has been locked out of the site, spamming the walls, hoping for the best. Same story for Golden here as the Flames land at his front door. He'll have to fall back and hold on to the little weapon they have. Oh, that's such a great call. Straight top sight, completely changing the pace. I bet that's put a smile on your face. Yeah, that was great stuff. Uh, yeah, well, if we can maybe uh, have a look at the replay for the flashbang effect coming in, they're throwing those from T spawn. Chad, it must have been a lot for them to send five players through the squeaky door. Yeah, let me interested to see that. what they could uh, bring to the table in that regard. How did they fend them off so effectively? It looked like every player went through the squeaky door at that point. So were they smoking? 
uh, towards main entrance and flashing behind them. Oh, he's doing it again on the exit, though. Like, they're not going to win the round, but Floss has just killed everyone. No time for the defuse. Wants to get them nervous, though. He did bad, have a kit. But he'll back away with all members of Astralis going down. He's done that twice now, keeping the T side at least a little honest. It won't have repercussions, but now we can see those flashes. Here we go. So they're going to end up in Squeaky, and it's all just through main. So it's all through Squeaky boom, Door. Boom, There's boom, nothing boom, coming boom, out yeah. through the, 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 the rafters at all. Nothing skylights. Yeah. So that, that was what I wanted to know. Is it like a really technical, intricate strategy with Molotovs coming through with skylights and stuff? No, just constant bombardment of flashbangs there through the Squeaky, and everyone just getting out, and no one's stopping. You notice everyone kept pressing W there? Yeah. No one's slowing down for a fight. You run and gun. You get stuck in, and you use those flashbangs to overwhelm the CTs and get control and make sure you're spaced out so they can't get multi frags there. There. Could be another round for Fnatic on the cards if Brolan can keep that up. A nice early kill towards Zipex keeps the game competitive here. Astralis have won the half, but Nuke is not the CT side of a fair it used to be. And now on the 5 on 3, Fnatic look very good for their seventh round. It's up to them to give it away at this point. Just need to tuck in. Don't need to push smokes. Everyone just calm down. Ooh, Glaive. Could have got caught out there. Surprised he didn't. JW misses a shot, but Flush is not missing oh. anything in these Brutal. last few rounds. That's a clinical dissection of Dupree. The boost, they were ready. JW is looking for it. He's even taken Glaive. And just Magis stopping it from being a perfect round to finish the half, but it's there. Feels pretty perfect to me. A triple kill from JW seals the 8-7 half. Astralis, a minor lead coming into their defense on their map, a must win. We'll see how they fare after a moment.
Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Fnatic take on Astralis, and we split it right down the middle here on Nuke. It was Fnatic that picked up Dust 2, but now Astralis looking like they've picked up the pieces, and they found themselves a very impressive T-Star here. They switch over to the CT forces. I'm feeling they close this map out, but Fnatic, they are looking stronger, Alex. Yeah, I'd say we've still got the, uh, the potential. There is the vibe for a potential 2-0, but it is entirely in the hands of both Fnatic and Astralis. It did look like Fnatic did manage to keep up, if for lack of a better word, with the sure. Astralis T side, but it did certainly feel like they were the ones dictating. The Danes did feel more in control. Trust me, though, this can still be a 2-0, and it all starts here. Nice little heaven smoke there thrown by Golden. It didn't even have to shoot out the window there. It actually went through the Skylight window, That's smashed on roots. Um, so we could grab that one potentially after team. That would be great. Yeah. Uh, either way, it's going to be an upper push. You can see that Heaven Smoke down. This is a really cool strat. G2 oh, used to run this back it. in the day. Straight this is an old through. school strat. Dupree is ready for it. He'll get the first headshot. Looks like Astralis are handling it well. The 5-7 should make light Ooh. work of Golden here. So a nice strat. Like I said, this is the old G2 approach. Go through ramp of Smoking Heaven and go straight up towards ladder, knowing they can't see you, but it is very telegraphed. You're aware of the strat. You can reposition, and it seems like Astralis were well, well aware of it. Yeah, but you can see that there's clear evidence of Fnatic trying to improve their pistol round stats. They are a little measly, but it seems that Astralis just continue to rack them up. Glaive opting for the 5-7 and actually managing to find two in the absence of his Kevlar and that $500 pistol. We're going to be seeing a lot of SMGs, three to be precise, up against the full eco from Fnatic. No bomb plant, no force buy. Well then, here we go. Full eco. Fnatic not investing a single dollar here, not even a flash pain. There we go, and they've actually got the first kill. They put down the vent here. A thing comes in. There's actually a chance they get a bomb planted. I don't think they win the round off this, but we'll see if Zipex can deny the plan. Good job so far. The bomb's going towards upper. Oh Golden. my god, this is next level. How have they pulled this one off? They still think it's going to be lower, surely. The absolute ninjas. I think Dupree saved oh. the day, but what a play from Fnatic on the full eco to sell it enough <laughs> to get a bomb plant. That's not easy to do. Yeah, it's not oh. often I get too excited on these sort of rounds. Nothing invested from Fnatic, but they sold that so well. The Venn dive, suggesting they're just trying to get the bomb down towards lower. Scraper plant down there. Zipex took a hook line and sinker. He's calling. They're coming down towards lower. They're flooding lower, the lower. site. He's Everyone crossing decon, crossing decon. And of course, Golden's waiting towards upper. Sneaks the bomb through. If you're not aware, getting the bomb down in those sort of rounds grants an extra $800, not just for the plant, but an extra $800 for every player on the team going to the next round. So if your money's a little bit buggered, that's a great way to just inject a nice amount of cash going forward. So yeah, that replay, worth its weight in gold, if you don't mind me saying, as he does get the extra cash coming through. So with the extra cash, they can have anything they want. And finally, Brolin will get his Krieg. He has to get on his own T side for that to happen. Let's see how... That's going to incite his fragging. 11 to 12 coming into this half and the pistol. We're going to be seeing quite a lackadaisical hold of outside. It will just be Glaive looking for more reactionary info. And for now, everybody's home on silo. Not at all. Setting up their outside smokes. A lot of teams will opt to do this in the mid stages of the round to avoid the incendiary battles that occur towards outside. Molotov at secret, just to fend off any players like Device waiting there at the AWP. He has brought that out for this first big gun round now. Glaive just trying to get some damage from the smoke here. One bullet connects, that's towards Brolan. And he's got the Kree now, so you see a lot more from him. Device usually hits those, but wow. here we have got a couple of kills coming through. It's a flash assist from Device to yield two kills for Glaive. Yeah, that's gonna put them in very good stead. I'm just trying to force device out, but he has repositioned to a more passive line. This is a very uh, common angle. You can use the uh, glass to just keep you extra obscured. Zipex got info on his cross back. He sees one ramp, so for now, they'll just dig their heels in. Silence on the battlefield. One on each vent from Astralis. Top site's going to be brutal. Paranoid about hurt. You walk into the crosshairs. He's going to win that duel. Magisk will win his. And Astralis, they've only got one more player to battle. One more to topple. But it's Golden. And he seems to have a bit of a mission ahead of him. Planting, faking, and all drawing out the more fights. Five seconds as he tries to get this one down. Device likely to try and stop it. Doesn't want any extra cash being injected into the ecosystem. At least not for his opponents. And it's quite a simple procedure there for Astralis towards the end, managing to hold on to their AWP and M4s respectively. 
Fnatic now will be 3-0 down. Their first gun round doesn't lead them to a bomb plant. They're going to have to be down to the partial buy once again. More of the same, I'm afraid. CZs, PD-50s, no revolvers on the T side for JW. Crims will have his Deagle. You'll probably see an outside execution with smokes here. Try and get the bomb down towards lower by the vents, something like that. And Broland's going to attempt that right now. Flashbang has come through. You can see effectively pushing towards up up. Mate just burns one to a crisp Two. and make it a couple. It's the bullets to do most of the damage, and Dupree will continue to find that. And it looks like we will have our several confirmed rounds here. As Flash's kill is influential in any sort of way. I mean, Crims could try and get top site. Flash is trying to help him up. They smoked off main, maybe a bomb plant as they can. Piece this one together. Heaven's the threat. They'll plant and cover from main. Nade won't land. Oh, it will. Oh, bomb does go down. He'll take that one with pride, but maybe there's more pride to be found because Flush Up smoked off and a fresh magazine does make things a little more difficult. And you now the diffuse will come in. Just a moment of time. Taking it out for now. Flush is just holding down his mouse one. Trying to play the game, and he's actually done well enough <laughs> to at least evade the push. Glaive force to his sidearm too. But there we have it, 12. It was very nice moving there from Flush to the same <laughs> That least. was cool. I thought he gets that kill with the CZ at that point. I think that would be a round victory in its own right. Um, either way, it will be Astralis, though. Picking things up is a very common Flash approach. The HG actually thrown by Glaive there to do so much damage towards Grimms. And this is after the full spam. Glaive finds himself in an awkward situation where the USB comes out on top, even with the knife drawn. Astralis now going to be 4-0 up as the Krieg hurts for Brolin once again. He's 12 and 14 right now. Golden, haven't seen a whole lot from him. 7 and 11, did have a couple of big rounds in the first half, but numbers aren't really reflecting that as of yet. Astralis on the CT side now, looking very comfortable to take us to a third. One note here, they have uh, an aggressive outside stance right now on the Astralis side of things. They're ahead of these smokes, so they know that it isn't going to be the outside play. Tops and flashbangs, they're doing so well. Good call, Chad. Good explanation as to why I'm seeing Zipex fighting around so aggressively. now. Backing away though, his Molotov's bought him time, but he hasn't been able to reposition. They know flashes. he's on the left side. He's bought so much time with the flashes. His bloodshed does equalize the uh, total though, 4v4. Yeah, he wanted to get one more there if possible, but now it's up to the AWP. Device, perfect position to get a couple here. Normally gonna be smoked out from window, but will they actually have the resources to do so? I don't think so, they have to challenge this. And it's one that doesn't work out for them. It's gonna be the first shot connected. Oh. The second is beautiful. Device just showing us what he's made of here as he looks for a third. He's gonna have to be the quick scope, but this guy is just a uh, master of his craft, looking to close things out in true style here. Glaive will pick up that final kill, and it's a very solid hold there. Inferno looking very likely, boys. Yeah, I've got I've got a sneaking suspicion that's pretty much uh, a good microcosm of what we can expect for the rest of the CT side. Device loved the fact that he got that adjustment into the first. He's holding the angle, but he's ready to adjust. Falls back. The doors are open so he can catch the next. Look at that. Perfect shot onto Golden. He knew what their game plan was. The third is just the cherry on top. Yeah. Poetry in motion there with the AWP. Loving that from Device. Everything makes sense. All the shots connect and everything else is denied for Fnatic. They've collected those two Kriegs in back-to-back -back rounds now, so the single purchase from Fnatic has well, yeah. operated in two Kriegs on the CT it's side. It's a good point. They're, they're trying to limit the amount of Kriegs given over, but it's still landing in favor of the CTs. The device this time aggressive towards outside, known to be a very dynamic AWPer. This time focusing his efforts towards the T-Red. Finds the open up, stuck in the smoke for now. They know he's still in that position as he tries to fall back here. Can he get away? He's, he's worried about Silo, but <laughs> Flusher, too wise for his tricks, will not let the aggressive orping go unpunished. And that's some Oof. damage. My god, Zipex. He's tagged him up, and it's Glaive to at least knock one of them down. Could be JW in jeopardy here, but Magiscus focuses attention elsewhere. My goodness, it doesn't matter where he seems to post himself. Well, that's the bomb down towards Secret, and we're back to a two on two. JW and Flusher incredibly low, but the former making his way towards ramp. Looking for the big backstab here. It could be enough. He has got the likes of Zipex in that. front of him, but yes. You can hear that ladder. In the heavy position, free fire comes through, and they've actually got the advantage Ooh, now. Oh, baby. Magus can still win this. Has he seen the bomb, or is it tucked he behind He killed the bomber. He knows where it is. Yeah, okay, cool. 40 seconds. They know they have to force him off the line of sight of the bomb. Flush is waiting for the frag, but Magus has won it. They're so low. It's all about reactions and aim. One bullet from either oh. of the guns. JW is the one to prevail, <laughs> and he likes that one. 
He likes that a lot. It was such a good idea from me just as well. It was well thought out. The smoke down there, a low HP JW. He just didn't account for the fact he could jump on top of that box. Yeah. Look above the smoke. Obviously, a very chaotic moment. You think you've done him. He's going to be walking through the smoke and hoping for the best or towards that CT box on the right. But JW up top. Didn't see it coming. Mage is taken down there, even though he did a great effort there towards main entrance to try and make that round theirs. Bit of an odd start here with the Glocks, and I guess someone was a bit AFK. They were trying to work out who was dropping flashy. He had to buy himself last minute. He did not for a UMP or any fun guns. He's gone for the AK-47 this time round. Good to see. Standard smoke wall outside. It will not be blocked. They can have that avenue of access to secret. And they're going to take it with three individuals, but device. Ooh, Ooh. that's more like it, Brolan. Okay. We talk <laughs> about this Krieg versus all battle. This time, it lands in favor of the rifle and its Zipex. They'll have to rotate down towards lower here. They must know this. This is the standard play from Astralis. Getting control of this window. It's their priority on the T side, and same for the CT retakes. Brolan finds another. I'm not worried about window. He's he Did might even call him? it clear. I think he saw him. Yeah. Okay, we'll catch him in the end. So the CTs left are so disconnected from the site. It's one of the, as we say, the most notoriously difficult sites to retake. Right up there with actually B site does too, which we had as our first map. Yeah, you've got like outside bomb and train, bomb B, B on dust two, and lower on nuke. Yeah. That's like the top three. In no particular order. Yeah, there's no real way to quantify it. It's all <laughs> kind of us and our opinions, but you know what I mean. <laughs> exactly. Glaive will be pulling one back at least. The round is falling in favor of Fnatic and a much needed one as well. It's only their second so far, but they are back to back. So uh, going to be finding themselves at 5-2, 39 overall. Three players survive and it's Broiland with that Krieg that cracks open the lower area there. The first shot just stunning. Let's see if he needs a scope for this. Definitely not complete one tap to the head. Another one at ramp and then Grims. We did spot Zipex there towards the window room will be confirming the round. That was the, the kill that really decided it all. Now, there's obviously a strat around that. We saw it. It was the secret smokes, but that was just to facilitate the room for Brolin to find the frag. Realistically, with that spawn and just the tenacity that this kid has, his mechanical ability is so on point. That is as simple as, hey, Brolin, we're going to throw some smokes for you. Go kill them lower for us. Right. And when that happens, it just shows you how easy the round can be. That opening and they had full access. Device on the AWP yet again. This time will not find himself in secret. Wants to stand and fight. He's been aggressive with the AWP. We've seen him move around a bit already within this second half. There it is. He gets revenge on Brolin this time round. Lightning fast. Golden's also kept on notice, so they don't want to deal with Device anymore. I think anyone does at this stage. Hitting a lot of impressive shots. Looking to close things out here on Nuke. It's their pick. Came very close to a huge resurgence on Dust2 after losing 12-3 in the first half. Incredibly close finish on that first map. She ended up 16-13. Still 5-4 on in favor of the CTs for now, but they have a bit of damage. And JW's towards lower. They have no idea. Zipex, you're done for, my friends. Towards ramp we go. Glaive needs at least one here. we will get that, but I think that's all he'll find. AK-47 does get a second go here. <laughs> Desperately tries to hold onto his mouse pad. <laughs> yeah, I think his wireless mouse was... Uh... Has ever given him a bit of jip there, but no, jokes aside, Grims is gonna get another one on the ramp. He's even falling away. He's still alive. Not for much longer. We'll have to take the fight, but the utility arrives just in the meantime. So Flush has got himself decon. He's gonna be playing around with the door to keep their attention drawn. I like this from JW. Yeah, very nice. Tucking himself in, hidden behind the door. Flush is with him as well. It's looking great. In terms of the kit situation, there is one available, but no smoke. I felt like Fnatic had done enough at this point. It would have to take a straight up wall bank towards JW to even enable a defuse at this point. Why would you think he's there in such a strong position? That's and he's out on the bomb is clear. I don't know Oof, whether that, that, was, that was the time he wanted to swing out necessarily, but he does go down. That should be Mages as well being dropped. That's, no. That's a little bit crazy. Come on, he's, Gabe. He's, he's down there with the bomb next to it. It's an open wild area. It's, it's an open a, It's an area. open site. No. no. <laughs> I'm trying to, to get stop it. the explosion. If you did, it did like an Indiana Jones, you got inside the fridge, for example, maybe yeah. that would be fine. But you didn't. You're in He's the in open. the open. And, uh, in a nuclear power plant. You, you would think that would be enough to kind of take you out. At least uh, put you on your knees, get you coughing. But Give us something, Gabe. I Don't worry about the creek. Keep that overpowered as anything. <laughs> Just fix the bomb situation for me, all right? I don't want players to be surviving in the bomb site. It doesn't make any sense. Yeah, there is a, a whole punishment mechanic that's definitely taken a bit of a backseat, but 
into Ooh. the round that they're just oh. losing now. Oh. Little scared for the Zeus. Close quarters all. Finger ah! might actually win it. He's got two opening frags. Close quarters. Madness has got another. Crims has no health, has no hope. He's got three more to find. Oh, oh. the Zeus actually finds a kill here as well. Device with a close range orping picks up three in total. <laughs> it's the Zeus that connects as well. Fnatic over the upper rush, and it's the worst call they could have made there. Device ready and waiting with a shotgun AWP. Does land them round number 14 here. Fnatic, sure, they've got double digits, but they're running out of funds. They will take a US Air Force tactical timeout at this point and sit on around $2,000. It is pick your poison time. Do you fully invest now and try and deny map point for Astral? or do you bide your time and try and scrape together five with the rifles? I think you pretty much have to buy here. Here's the replay from Device, just negating the flashbangs and hitting all these close range shots. You can see his teammates here jumping in front of him, making sure they can take some of the aggro. Ah! Oh! As it comes through, the screams there of the Fnatic players as the Zeus connects, a thousand volts surging through their body. It's the buy, it's the all in. They pushed all their ships to the center of the nuke table. The top rush didn't work for them just then, and now with pistols on board and some MAC-10s, it's curious as to what approach they could possibly go for here. The secret wall smokes are standard. They've been given access to that a couple of times. You can snowball lower with this close-range weaponry there. Top rush could be on the cards again, but they just got absolutely destroyed by device. It looks like they're slowing it down. This isn't the approach that you necessarily want with these pistols but they do have the utility to back it up. There's the smoke wall. Three. On the smoke, they use it as their cue to go. The trades are favoring Astralis, but only for a moment. Perhaps this force buy has some legs after all, or will it really be another device? Close quarters, all he missed. missed. Now the flash has arrived, so does Crims. A second kill, now an AWP for him to work with, an upgrade from the CZ before. Madras can zip X to save. This should have been a locked in Astralis round, for lack of a better word. Well, the bomb's in lower right now in the vent, so Flusher has to clear top. He might get the timing on Magus yes. right here. He's seen him, taps away. They're gonna swarm him right now. The Molotov will do the job, or Golden will get in first, and now it is just Zipnix. Oh, they've actually oh, done oh, it. Oh. They've avoided certain death here. At 14.10, Fnatic fully invested the CZ, the MAC-10s, and it works out for them. One player survives, that's gonna be Zipex, and I don't think he'll be clutching his way out of this one. Fnatic will at least extend our stay here on Phoenix. And Zipex looking to survive the round if possible. Making his way towards the ladder now. Not gonna be going for this one, holding onto the T-sided rifle. Makes his way back towards spawn, and that's probably where he'll stay for the rest of the round, the last few seconds of it. So it's a $1,900 loss bonus going into the next round. Glaive's going to need a drop. Device. Or maybe someone can drop him across the AWP. Magisks got cash. Yeah, so they should be able to make this buy work right here. There shouldn't be too many problems. Fnatic, they still have compromises. Even with that round win, even with the saved AWP, they, they still will have a couple of compromises with their buy here. This was phenomenal stuff, but device with an uncharacteristic miss right there and you see him trying to, to push on out and make up for that miss well the flashes that were being thrown he didn't see them and actually got completely blind as he swung to make up for that missed awp shot so it's all falling apart right there match is paused right now have to talk through these buy situations there is a lot to discuss yeah focusing on the rounds to come not the ones that have already been i would imagine Astralis Inferno is just two rounds away for them. It's it's just with outside of reach. And Fnatic have just now put the uh, the thought back into the Danish brain that this could very well be a 2-0 series. It felt like just after conceding that, after the top site fail from Fnatic, they throw their bodies into the brick wall, devices close quarters orping. It did look like Inferno was a guarantee. And now, just one round later, Fnatic give us a second guess. Well... It's going to be a difficult few rounds to break Astralis once again, but there certainly is a chance a 2 0 could occur. Astralis now with the Orbit device. Glaive on 22 kills, Mage is 23. It all sounds great. We are missing Zipex, but he is the brand player. Not many frags available on that side of the map, to be fair. Outside smokes coming in quickly from Fnatic. Do they send big numbers behind it, though? Boosting the player on towards the first box. Does the Orb to get a advantageous angle towards any aggressive players and Glaive's known for that but this time yes indeed a big gap he's watching it like a hawk 
Does Brolin have a smoke for under hand? He's, Brolin's dead. Oh, the oh. timing there. He still goes down. Fair play. Nice work for Glaive. It could be enough to find map point. Yeah, it's looking very promising, just like that. So did they deny that? So I heard an I'll have to have a let's, look. Let's have a look, because it I'll really is the, the biggest back. talking point of the new crime now. Is it worth even doing the outside smokes from T-Spawn if they can be denied and gaps can occur? Or was it simply a, a misthrown smoke, which is unlikely considering the lineups and how often they throw them. Glaive will get his second of the round here. That's going to be a five on three. I don't see a world of Fnatic even get back into this one unless Crims gets a Dillick timing towards ramp. Which apparently he's gifted. Okay. Maybe there's a few more chapters to the uh, round 26 book. The, the lack of utility is very worrying for Fnatic right now. They haven't established enough map control to find these normal gaps that they can get away with. So they need to trade efficiently. And that right there is a huge shot from That's Golden. That's like a sniper. His M4 just laser beams Glaive out of the server. Wow. So then three to three, Dupree could be a little vulnerable. He's on top site. He's now going to be paranoid for main after Golden did find that frag from all the way back at CT spawn. This is the perfect position for it as well. They can clear out behind the bomb box and plant safe. It's just time now. Ten seconds. They have to go. Oh, the perfect lineup. Magisk is going to get both of them. Crimson flush at the second he peeks. It's a tiny pixel, but it's both bodies on top of each other. Puts 15 on the board for Astralis. Here we go. Here's the smoke wall situation that's going on. Deep, aggressive by the CTs. They've dropped a molly here. There you go. And thus the gap that we found of Brolin went down and Golden took all that damage. So it was a gap caused by Astralis. An early incendiary from the CT side creates a slight gap. It gives Glaive two frags. So sure, they do no damage to that incendiary, but it's used in a different way to enable them to find kills with it. So it's very, very impressive. And we'll see Astralis find map points indeed as they rush towards up as the pistols only. A UMP thrown into the mix. It looks like we're all done here. Dupree making light work of them here as he sprays them down one by one. He's on for the ace. He won't pick it up. But Astralis with an undeniable victory there on Nuke. They look fantastic throughout it. A good resurgence from Fnatic to be fair. But